Once upon a time, there lived a woman called Unzube. Unzube had four children and was married to a man named Chiadika, who was a drunkard that spent all of his time and money on alcohol. Everyone in the village knew about Chiadika because he would drink alcohol all day and would most times be found asleep by the bush path as he's always too drunk to walk home. People in the village also referred to Unzube as the drunkard's wife and this affected Unzube and her business. On many occasions, Unzube would plead with her husband, Chiadika, to stop drinking but he had a relationship with his bottles that made it extremely difficult for him to quit drinking. His drinking habit also affected their children who began to perform poorly in school as the other children in the school always laughed at them and referred to them as drunkards. Despite several pleas from Unzube and her children, their father, Chiadika, still continued to drink and this went on for a very long time. One day, Chiadika returned home very late at night, drunk, and when his wife, Unzube, confronted him, he beat her to a pulp and this gave Unzube serious injuries all over her body. By morning, Unzube was fed up with Chiadika's excessive drinking and beatings, so she decided to do something about it. Unzube went on a journey to see a very powerful woman that her friend had told her about. This powerful woman was said to possess great powers that would be able to make Unzube's husband overcome his drinking addiction. Unzube was desperate at this point as she wanted to make sure that her husband quits drinking and focuses more on his family. After all what her friend had told her about the powerful woman, Unzube decided to give it a try as she believed it was a risk worth taking. When Unzube got to the powerful woman's hut, she explained her situation to the woman and the woman brought out a clay pot which she called the mystery pot. With the mystery pot, Unzube was told to whisper what she wanted the pot to do for her. She was so excited to whisper into the pot. However, the powerful woman stopped her and warned her that the pot can only exchange the problem and not take it away completely. Unzube was a bit reluctant at this point to speak into the mystery pot. But the powerful woman told her that the pot would grant her request but would also attach to it something good or something bad. What this meant was that the pot will make Chiadika stop drinking but will also give them an extra blessing or a curse. Unzube then remembered all her suffering and the possibility of getting an extra blessing from the mystery pot. So she went on to speak into the pot and the powerful woman smiled and told her to return home that her husband was no longer a drunk. Nuzube was excited and could not wait to get home. When she arrived home, she met her husband at home. And this was unusual, as Chiadika was never home by this time. Unzube looked closely at her husband 
to figure out if he was still drunk, but he wasn't. This was the first time in decades that Nzube was seeing her husband like this without alcohol and this gladdened her heart. However, Nzube was worried about the effects of the mystery pot on her husband. He seemed fine, so Nzube hoped and prayed for the effect to be positive. In addition to not drinking alcohol, Chiadika was now more involved in the affairs of his family and this made Nzube and their children happy. One night, Nzube had fallen asleep and woke up late in the night to see her husband wide awake. Are you not going to sleep? Nzube asked her husband and he told her that he had not been able to sleep in two days. This troubled Nzube as she wondered if this could be the effect of the mystery pot. However, on a second thought, Nzube believed that it could be the after effect of quitting alcohol. So, she encouraged her husband to try and get some sleep. Many hours passed and Chiadika still could not sleep. This went on for days and her husband was now looking like a shadow of himself as he had not been able to sleep in days. Uzube became worried and returned to see the powerful woman who told her that what had been done was irreversible. Uzube let out a scream as she had put herself in a situation that she had no idea of how to get herself out of it. When Uzube returned home, she met her husband sitting on the chair and staring blankly into the space. She quickly rushed to get a bottle of alcohol to give him to see if the alcohol will make him drunk and make him fall asleep. But the more Chiadika drank the alcohol, the more alert he became. At this time, Chiadika had not slept in over two weeks and his wife, Unzube, consulted with several herbalists who did not have a solution to her problem. Shortly afterwards, the sleep deprivation began to affect the mental health of Chiadika as he began to hallucinate. He was seeing and hearing things and this went on for a while till Chiadika finally ran mad. The news of what Nzube did to her husband spread around the village and the villagers were not pleased with how far she went to stop her husband from drinking, especially as her plot resulted in his current madness. The villagers drew the attention of the village chief to what had happened and the chief decreed that Nzube would look after her husband all her life because she's the one who put him in such a situation. The villagers also blamed Unzube for everything that happened and did not take into consideration her intention behind her action, which was to make her husband stop drinking. The lesson to be learned from this story is that it is not wise to take certain decisions without thinking about the consequences. A decision taken with good intention, when not properly thought through, can turn out to be a very bad decision and one's biggest mistake as well. So, think properly when making decisions and stay clear from dabbling into fetish practices because it has a way of backfiring. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.